I'm Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations and in today's live stream uh, we're doing a bunch of stuff. Um, we're first off catching up on our giveaway um, which was this watercolor um, Hey Buttons watercolor chickadee that I had done. Hey Mikio um, in the water class that I took from Tom Jones. Um, and the winner of this is Aaron Ramsey. So congratulations, Aaron. I hope you enjoy it, the little chickadees. Hey, Matu. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Bernie. <laughs> um, so congratulations. <laughs> um, and then we also have a small pile of mail to open. <laughs> so I'm going to get right to it on that. But, uh, thanks, Matu. <laughs> um... Hey Sam, how's it going? <laughs> Let me go ahead and get my notifications turned off. There we are. <laughs> uh, so sorry that I missed blurry. Um, a couple of days of videos. I had recorded some quite late at night, uh, Wednesday night before we hit the road on Thursday, and um, they weren't very good. Like. And not that I've got, like, high standards or anything, because I don't, but they were, like, even for me, I was like, ah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna post that. Um, ah, thanks, Matthew. I changed the side that my part is on. So, that's what I did to my hair today. And then I braided it and, like, pinned it back. So, because my, my bangs are getting a little long, but I want them to, uh, I don't want to have to trim them back again. I want to grow them out. So, we're doing that. Ah, uh -huh, thanks, Draco says, love your videos. Hey, Jenny. Jenny says, how old are you from the wet state of Washington, or as I call it, the Pacific Northwest? <laughs> uh, Sam says, finally settled into a new home. Missed all of you. It's so good to see you again, Sam. <laughs> uh, I finally get to see live feed. Well, it's actually live. Hey, Ton. <laughs> hey, Fern in Tennessee. I almost caught up with orders and got more. It's, it's a slippery slope of success twisted. It really is. Uh, thanks, Angela. I'm actually going to be doing... I think on Thursday I'm going to be doing a live eye painting and um, like Q&A. So hey Sparky! <laughs> but I'm going to start with some of these packages I think might actually be from myself but I don't have a way to label any of them. So we'll see. Uh, Tanya says, hi Bonnie, I got my poster from Randy. How was the con? I'm glad it made it safe to you, Tanya. The convention went really well. It was our first time representing a company other than our own. What's up, though? Um, <laughs> but, uh, and so it was kind of, it was just nice, it was just a 10 hour drive was the only part about it that wasn't wonderful. So Angela says, I want to do Dragon Eyes too. It's like, we'll do it. <laughs> um, Gabby says, welcome back. So did you guys make out? Randy and I made out a lot. Uh, we were in a hotel, I don't think that's what she's asking. I don't think okay, no, um, <laughs> it went okay. Uh, do you mean business wise? Uh, <laughs> um, Sorry, just a sec. <laughs> um, Business-wise, I think it went pretty well. Um, Sparky says, Ugh, I have questions and I can't find them. Oh, no. <laughs> um, So this is a package. Um, sorry, I get booted periodically. Look at my phone crashes. So the crafts I do is crocheted hats and coasters and plastic canvas along with embroidery. Right on. <laughs> yeah, Bernie, I, I blushed a little bit there on that one. Candace says, hey girl, I can't watch right now. I'm keeping my mom company. I'll watch the repeat tonight. Also, I just received my glass cobbler on and can't wait to make some eyes. Right on. <laughs> it's Vader Vaughn and the Dragon Eyes. Yes, Michelle. <laughs> live stream just turned into a different kind of live stream. <laughs> She said, I'm also painting a silver eye right now, and I just figured out a great way of incorporating the acrylic paints into the eyes without the paint flaking off. Right on. <laughs> okay, so these are some glass dragon eyes that I had, well, they're not dragon eyes yet. Um, some glass cabochons that I had ordered, and these are the 30 by 22 millimeter size, and I really like these. I talked about these a bit in the um, video that I had done about top picks of glass cabs, so if you're interested in getting some of your own, you can visit the link over yonder. Oh boy, lots of stuff, but that's something I ordered for myself, so. Hey, Lara! <laughs> Live and candid as always. Yeah, <laughs> I miss you, Lara. Perfect timing. German potato salad in the slow cooker and pictures hung, ready to hang out with y'all. 
sweet. That way the paint goes on in streaks instead of having to scrape the streaks in. Okay. I used to maybe skewer to lay the paint down instead of a brush. Nice. <laughs> oh, and I re pierced this ear this morning because I wanted to wear earrings today because I figured with an updo and like a low shoulder shirt, but it hurts. So, <laughs> this one we picked up from the post office this morning and it is from Yvette. So, can't you say hello? Hey, Edith. <laughs> Where do you order them from? I get them on Amazon. I get just about everything on Amazon. That way, even from like Shanghai, China, two day shipping. Like Amazon Prime is amazing. And I can't get this open without scissors. Hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. Can I steal a pair of your scissors? Thank you. Playing games. Hi, Yvette. Oh, gosh. Hey, Jim. I missed the stream last Tuesday, but watch it later, and I'm glad you liked the earrings. I worried that the great big chandeliers were too big, but I'm happy you like them. I think they're beautiful, so <laughs> they're actually the ones that I had re my ear with, and I was like, Randy, they're so pretty, and then I was like, my ear whole hurts, so I'm going to give it a day or two, and then um, put them back in. I'm going to do some videos on what you do with the Patreon crates that you give to us. I was looking at all of them and wondering what to do with them. I am going to be putting together some that are like specifically about like what the Patreon crates are but I don't want to make like yes I'm doing this and then not get it done because things don't always work out like that for me. So um <laughs> here let me get this moved over but uh, a lot of what I give you in the crates does go along with a lot of the tutorials that I might already have out. <laughs> strange for you says when is your birthday lady my birthday is august 6th but honestly i feel like my birthday is like all the time here lately so i have a birthday once a week on tuesdays <laughs> i am in new hampshire right on i love my amazon amazon prime yep does amazon prime cost more than normal amazon it's like what i think like 10 bucks a month 10 or 15 but we get like their video streaming and well, yeah, but we could. <laughs> um, but honestly, for as much as I order stuff, not having to pay extra on shipping every single time is really nice. Oh, Familia. <laughs> she said, prettiest girl on YouTube. When you turn 30, we shall come to your hometown and throw you the biggest party ever at a local convention center because I know it's going to be packed. Aw. I really hope the phone doesn't make a habit of this. It keeps booting me. But happy, <laughs> really. <laughs> okay. Um, so, a package from you, but open and open and open and. Congratulations again to Aaron Ramsey for winning my Chickadee watercolor painting, which I'm kind of sad to see go. <gasps> what? Holy crap, Randy, look it. I think this might have been, where's the note? I hope, I hope she sent a note for Vaughn's bag <laughs> Oh, this is cool. I think this, yeah, this is for you, Randy. Oh, really? Yep. You want me to read the note? Yeah, sure. It says, Randy, a token of esteem for you. Thanks for being groovy, dude. Enjoy. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll check it. What is it? Oh, dude. It's a notebook. That is awesome. Premium notebook. Thank you. What is, wait, like how you write in or? What is this advanced technology of paper and pen? Hey, Linda. <laughs> I'll have to send you one of my hats that I make. Oh, that'd be cool. <gasps> wow, this is beautiful. Randy, I just opened your gift. He's, He's playing wow. So, hey, oh, Sarah. Wow. What is it? It's a notebook. Dude. Right? You can't see his face, but he's really happy. Like It's come... got the map of Hyrule like engraved on it. That is so cool. Thank you very much. Ah, he's that so is happy. That's really awesome. No, it's yours. Okay, you hold on well... to it. I'll give you the box and the yeah. thing and the note. Yeah. Here's your stuff. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Yvette. It's really nice. I'm glad that people are nice to Randy. He deserves it. <laughs> Playing Final Fantasy now. Right on, Stacy. Is it better to get her an Amazon gift or be a Patreon member? Um Honestly, whatever it's whatever you want to do. I, I'm grateful that y'all are even here just hanging out with me. So I can't be like, I can't, I'm not picky, honestly. Like, I, I'm super spoiled and blessed and like, there's no way I could ever show my gratitude. Like, 
in a way that I feel like substantially balances out. Um, but uh, like I feel like y'all are dumping five gallon buckets of love on me and I'm like with like a thimble and a soup spoon <laughs> throwing love back at you. So, um, but uh, it depends if you only want to make a one time contribution, something from my Amazon wish list is phenomenal. Like, um, because it lets you give me something that I, I already know that I need, or you can get something that you feel inspired to get, or if you would rather get something mailed to you every month, or get, like, digital download content and all the different things like that, then you can become a patron. But I understand that, like, for the, like, I don't know, most of my life, Randy and I did not have the, uh financial stability to be like, yeah, I can, you know, I can commit $20 a month to this thing that is completely not like food, shelter, or clothing, you know. Um, also, just curious if you had a chance to look at the drawn diagram for the wire head pins, and if so, have you tried it out? I hope it's helpful. Nicole, I haven't had a chance yet. Like, we literally, we did the mail opening on Thursday and then left. Like, as soon as I logged off, we I put my phone in my purse and got in the van and we started driving. So, and then we got home last night at about 10, 10.30 maybe. So, <laughs> Denise says, I just discovered you and I'm so glad. I love your videos. As a new, as a new to leather working and new cosplay, you're the best. Oh, thanks, Denise. <laughs> hey, Nimu. It's actually cooler on the inside. <gasps> really? <laughs> Really needed a live stream. I've been feeling kind of stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Lauren. I miss you, too. I miss the hell out of all y'all. Randy is a cool dude. That he is. He's my favorite. Um, kids learning fun. Hi, I'm doing great. Um, did not know we were including states. Hello from the beautiful states of Michigan. I live on the self. Right on. Uh, okay, next package. This one's to Randy. Okay, no, this uh, is more... This is more glass cabochons from Amazon. Okay. These are on Amazon from Rose Beading. We got 60, 70, and 80 millimeter cabochons for dragon eyes. So I'll be getting some of those painted to send off to our patrons for in April. And then this one, what this? What this, Lukey Dookie Dog? <laughs> He's like, I don't speak English, Mom. I'm a dog. <laughs> hey, Sarah. I got to meet Sarah Wolf in Sarah? person, you guys. Yep, that is Sarah. Hey, Sarah. And we hung out quite a bit, and it was awesome because there was not a whole lot going on at the convention. It was a smaller, it's a smaller convention, and it's like really super comic book heavy. And I don't know a whole lot about comic books, so uh, it was really nice to have her come. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a whole bunch of stuff in this box. Ah! Okay, um, let me read some comments. Um. Do you have any suggestions? I make costumes and also eyes and fursuits and stuff for a living. My eyes are made from resin. Do you have any suggestions of any other products? I really like glass cabochons um, because they just they have a kind of clarity to them that holds up, I feel like, for much longer than what resin can, depending on the resin. Um, but resin can give you a whole lot more depth, too. So, uh, Isn't it stressful to post daily videos? And what do you use to film your videos? It can get pretty stressful. It's usually what I try to do. I just use my phone, this phone that I'm actually streaming on, and you can actually see here, this is the setup that I use to record. I have my tripod broke, so I have, um, well, one of, like, the springs. I don't know why, but it won't stay up unless I have this ribbon tying it on. And then I have a little clip that I can put my phone in. See how that works? And it records my setup. I'm actually making super sneak peek a gift for a friend. And I'm also making... He's in here. Yeah, he sees it. <laughs> um, it was going to be a surprise, but I'm not good at those. Um, uh, making a tutorial on how to make a reversible sun catcher like that. Um, but yeah, so that's how I... <laughs> That's how I shoot all of my videos, and um, usually what I try to do is get a couple days ahead because YouTube lets me schedule them ahead of time. So, like, last week, I was able to get, like, I had shot a whole bunch of videos and everything, got them edited and got them scheduled, and was, like, a week and a half ahead, um, and then time flew by, and I didn't have any videos to get me through the weekend. Um, <laughs> 
Uh, what you pay for 50 milliliter, millimeter cabs. Dude. Um, honestly, Jim, I don't know off the top of my head. You can, any of my videos that has the links in there, um, that's how much I pay. It's however much Amazon's charging. Some of them can be like the 80 millimeter or like five bucks a cab, I think. <laughs> that's Jim's Amber. It is. Yeah. Getting put to good use. I do think. Sneaky peeky. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey Randy, if you're in between projects and getting mm -hmm. smothered in a Sam dog, could you moderate for me? I'm getting a lot of comments and I can't keep up with them. How are you? Yeah. And I got this bag of stuff I gotta open. <laughs> okay, so this is the box full of things. Damn. Um, Sam dog's being naughty. <gasps> Fairy Blossom White. I gotta find out who this is from first before I just start, oh my God, just opening everything. Yep. Is he okay? Oh, he's fine. Are you okay? I'm good. Sam's trying really hard to cuddle Randy. And Sam's like a 55, maybe 60 pound dog. He's getting kind of fat. Um, <laughs> Come here, little fatty Sam dog. I love you. <laughs> um, and so he tries to sit on Randy's lap without, like, it's not a consensual thing. So he just wrecked Randy's whole situation. Um, oh, one of my favorite trees that I handmade is actually out of amber. Do you want Randy? It's just that he hooks his legs on everything. Yeah. Alright, what's going on? You bet! This is from- holy crap! Hi, Temp Resident Troll. Enjoy your gift. Okay, um, hi Yvonne. Enjoy your gift. Um, oh, enjoy your gift. Um, Yvette, uh, or is the resident troll, is that, um, Bieber? Wrong, Sam. Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> the dog thought he was talking to you. Um, yes, it's one of my favorite I teas. Nice that someone ready. bought you. So, I, Laura, you're the one who got me turned on to it. That year that we were out camping and Zipper the raccoon stole, um, all of our tea and my candy. <laughs> mean little. Okay, um. Okay, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure out what all is in here. This, whether this was for Azmuth or not, this is for me. I'm stealing it, so I'll give him some though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, that's her box. There are things in there for the trolls, which is Azmuth. Okay. <laughs> um. Hello from Australia. Hmm. Hello from Australia. Hey, in Australia, lip gloss. Do you have pictures of your brand icon? I can't find it anywhere. Um, I do? Somewhere? Somewhere. Do you have... Yeah, okay, you already read that. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay, so... I wasn't really much of a person to wear lip gloss or anything like that. Holy and then crap, I found on... All, all of this is lip gloss, Randy. Ah! <laughs> oh, I have to put all of them on now, though. Which one should I wear first? I'll wear this one. Which one's this one? I don't even know how to tell what color it is. <laughs> I guess you have to open the box. I guess I do. It doesn't even say what... I hope it looks good on me. <gasps> Ooh! Okay. I really like the packaging of it. Oh, yeah. Shem Yips. It does not have an offensive odor. That's something I'm always, like, suspicious of, is, like, is this lip gloss going to smell funny? Don't do it. Hashtag herpes. <laughs> Hashtag herpes? Did you type that, or did somebody else? Uh, American Beast. This is an intensely pigmented... Question about cost per mm -hmm. millimeter glass cab. Is 50 cents per cab a good price? Third time asking question. That's a really good price. I would be all over that. This is super intensely pigmented. Like, check that out. That's pretty. That's probably the boldest color I have ever worn in my entire life. You're saying it's the perfect color. Stream is doing something funny like on the rainbow flash, then on rainbow flash. Hmm, strange. And they're also, they're a matte gloss, too, so it should... I ate hair soup. That's different. <laughs> I did not read that. I kind of like that. Are you going to be doing any crafting in this live stream? Maybe. 
I'd like to. Feels a little sticky. Good color for Okay. Ooh, thank you so much, Yvette. But uh, the company is these guys. I'm not good at pronouncing things ever, so. Panelist, small world. <laughs> hey, book. Ah, uh, thank you. I don't know. I'm not good at being one of those, like, Instagram lip models that's like, mm, or however they do. Man. This stuff is intense. Does it have directions? In not English. Okay. Ingredients covered with a tag. Nope. Stay horror. <laughs> is Dan a good YouTuber? Oh, I don't know. Boop. I discovered a way to fix my filming problem. I film live uh, with okay. phone, Facebook, um, settings, and download the video to It says wood spoon video. carving tools. I think, is this the one, Yvette, that's for Azmuth? Because I'll let him open it. Remind me of how to show you my emo prom picture last month when you were off live. She definitely took me back to high school. <laughs> oh, came to mind because it's my first time wearing dark lipstick. I'd like to see that, Lara. <laughs> If you want, you can text it to me even while uh, we're streaming. But I don't know. I really like that. Mm. I know you mentioned a while back about a tutorial for a chain mold dice bag. And I was hoping it would happen in the near future. I'm hoping so, Pepper. Um, like, I really hope so. <laughs> this and the book. Woo! Okay. These I will set aside for Azmuth. He's upstairs in the middle of something, I do believe. Oh, man. I'm going to have a lot of fun. Like, this is enough lip gloss that I could wear almost, I could wear a different lipstick color every day for on, like, a two-week cycle. <gasps> oh, solar string lights. Oh, well, the ones on the front porch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the cord got cut as well. So, these are going to be awesome. I really need... Ooh. So I'll be doing a tutorial or a video actually showing how I install these in the garden because I absolutely love the solar lights because I like the way Christmas lights look, but I don't want to be like, I don't know, I feel like it's wasteful to have the power going to them all the time and like I'm really forgetful about like t turning off the power to it and stuff. So, oh my gosh. So solar takes all the trouble out of it. And then, woo, I think this is for azimuth as well. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the surprise. <gasps> oh, wow. Randy. Mm. Check it. Can you do a secret fairy house in a book? Oh, that'd be really cool. These are hollow leather punches. <laughs> Gorgeous. Very spoiled bun, but you deserve it. I am super spoiled, and I don't know how to, like balance this so I'm gonna do I'm just gonna keep doing free tutorials for you guys like as much as I can I want to try to keep this balanced between the bunch of us but check out is there a handle for them I don't know how this works but these would be able to be used on leather polymer clay or precious metal clay oh Sam I think they might be like for, like check that out. Wolf like Cosplay Pro wants to know about leather weights. Do what? I haven't seen Wolf Cosplay Pro, but they're asking about leather weights. I don't know what leather weights are. She's too busy. Wolf, oh, oh, like use... thicknesses of what leather? Um, one ounce is quite thin, like very very thin. I might actually have the gauge over here, actually. Yvette, thank you so much. This was, this was really generous of you. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> oh. Like, super wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I think they went to make a corset. Um, I use around a 10 to 12 ounce on the front panels of my corset and then on the uh, sides I use anywhere from like a six to an eight ounce um let me see if I have it. yep I do actually 
At Tandy Leather, they have a really handy gauge that looks like this. So like down here is that thickness is about a two ounce. So you can see I have it like written in in my chicken scrawl. <laughs> but um, so usually if, it, if I can get it really close to like a centimeter thick for the fronts of the corsets, the thicker the better. I'm working on a baby album right now, but that would be fun for my next project. <laughs> Um, and then we have one more box, which I'm not entirely certain what this is or who it's from. It's a nice gauge, veggie tanned. Um, vegetable tanned, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it, this is a big old box. So. Is it heavy? Huh? Is it heavy? It's pretty heavy. Is it cat litter? Okay, sorry, it crashed again. Um, oh. Okay, there it goes. Man, they, like, epoxied this box shut. <laughs> hey, Vaughn, only recently found your channel. I'm branching out into leather working, and your tutorials are wonderful. Thank you for making them. Well, thank you, Woodworking, for for watching. I couldn't do any of what I do if it weren't for you guys. Well, it's, I could do it, but it would be on a much smaller, less successful scale. <gasps> what is it? It's our boxes from the post office. Yay! Yay! So now we can ship things and stuff. Yay. Ba -ba -da. So now we can send off framed artwork all over the world. Well. Without, you know, even these cover international. Uh, it's going to be like 80 bucks. Well, yeah, depending on it. where. <laughs> but, um, okay, if that makes sense, because I was like, what on earth could this possibly be? Um... Hey, Randy. Could I trouble you for a cup of hot water? You gotta talk to Sam about that. Okay. Hey, Sam dog. Mama's gotta give you kisses. Sam, don't ignore me. Get over here. <laughs> but yeah, okay. I want to drink a cup of my tea. Go. Come here, Sam. Let's do Q&A for a minute with these kind folks. Oh, he totally ran off. Okay. So, Q&A. Undivided attention for a minute box is bitching <laughs> right on you just need an international box one is right priority ships worldwide yep debbie says hi Vaughn. i just found you last night i was looking for toots on making wire keys and found your february tutorial with the lock too loved it right on. i'm glad you liked it debbie i'm still i'm like awestruck at how vibrant this lip gloss is and like super strong pigment like like i have it all over my hands and my pants and stuff well, technically Randy's pants. What? They're your sweatpants. Uh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, while we're here, do you guys have any questions about anything? Yeah, I tried. Why you keep wearing my pants? Because they're warmer than mine. Um, I tried one of your old videos where you made yarn into fur. It worked really well. Right on. <laughs> that was I have question. some super cheap set of cutting knives. Can I do anything with stainless? Oh, I don't know. I prefer gloss over lipstick, less drying, for sure. I'm right there with you, Sarah. I like stuff that has a little bit of shine to it, but I think this might be a really nice color base for, um, ho, ho, for, like, a shinier gloss. But, man, that's, I, and I wanted the, the, the I saw, like, it was this 12-pack of gloss, um, and I was like, that's going to be really nice for trying on for different, like, costumes and character creations and all kinds of stuff, so... Debbie says I joined you on Patreon also. Well, thank you so much. I'm really excited about April's craft crates because I kind of feel like um, I had tried to incorporate like instructions and then with marches and then completely left them out and I still haven't gotten them typed up and uploaded um, to the Patreon page so that everybody can kind of see. But I'm Things are lining up a little bit more again for uh, April's craft crates. So I'm really excited to uh, unveil that to you guys once we get that put together. Oak says, Yvonne, could you do me a favor and load your brand icon to Facebook or Instagram, please? It's for a craft ID, craft slash gift ID I have for you. I'll do that whenever we finish up on here, Oak. What's up with the dogs? No idea. It's hard being dogs. I am so happy right now, <laughs> Twisted. How'd I do, Jim? Oh, you bet. You guys are just egging each other on. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> as my hubby says, what's yours is mine, what's mine is mine. And I have no problem at all with Randy wearing my pants. He just doesn't like leggings. I think he looks great in them, though. A little awkward, but great. <laughs> uh, Lynn says, where did you get your mini anvil? I got this one at Tandy Leather, which they do sell on Amazon as well. And then I got this one. Oops. 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 Gravity. Ugh, stop that, right? falling everything. And then I got this one from, I think, Fire Mountain Gems, but it's available on Amazon as well. Uh, I tried to make a key out of chainmail for a pendant. Not sure if you ever tried it, but wondering how you might go about it. Um, probably one of the three-dimensional weaves, like um, inverted round mail or box chain or full Persian six-in-one might work for something like that. Nanny says, me and my daughters, 14, 11, and 7, love your tutorials. Right on, Nanny. Uh, do you make your own chains for necklaces? Sometimes, and I actually have tutorials in the works for different chain making techniques. Um, like not even necessarily chain mail, but like wire wrapped chain. No. But more often than not, I'll do segments of mechanized chain with like wrapped links in between. Um, just to make it, whenever I'm selling out of the booth, I want it to be very marketably priced. Like, um, priced to sell. <laughs> so, woo. If it says blot, von, blot, I think I need to. Where's a piece of paper? Hmm. Kissy, kissy. That's a lot better. I mean, that was, I only put, I felt like I only put a little bit on. Huh. You okay? Well, we need a new kettle. What happened? Part in my hand. Really? Yes. I made a little kissy. Oh, that's nice. Do you like it? Thank, thank you for a cup of hot water. Hot water. Donkey. Do you use any craft techniques that come from the 1600s or earlier, and or do you know how your crafts have evolved through the ages? Nerdy question, I know. Um... The Viking knit, like, the problem is, is a lot of, like, of the drawn wire that I use, you know, that's been, like, pulled out into thin strands, they didn't, that technology wasn't really widely available. Um, so it's, like, uh, a lot of the, um, wire wrapping techniques and stuff that I use are derived from basket weaving and, like, knitting and crochet, kind of loosely, like the Viking knit um, done with wire is actually just like Viking knitting with like wool or anything like that. It just also translated well into, you know, metal uh, filaments as well as textile filaments. I'm gonna let the dogs out. Yeah. I'll be right back guys. You can watch my tea brew for me. <laughs> And I'm back. Okay. Um, that's okay, Vaughn. I do that to my husband. Wear your sweatpants right on. Um, I really need to clean this room, but it's about to swallow meal. I'm right there with you. I've been cleaning out, um, my stepdad's room, uh, getting everything kind of tidied away and organized because we're taking it over. <laughs> Do you still do new chainmail videos? I'm trying to find your most recent one. Um, my most recent one was a Shaggy Loops tutorial, but I am going to be having other chainmail videos coming out hopefully soon. Uh, last week, I think it was, we actually made like a whole like list. <laughs> I wrote down y'all's requests, and so I'm going to start knocking out uh, those ones for you guys. 
<laughs> What's the best way to polish polymer clay cabochons? Um, sanding and then a buffing wheel, or you can, um, making it as smooth as you can before baking it really cuts down on the amount of elbow grease you have to put in. Do you make your own chains for necklaces? What do you use? What sizes do you keep on hand at the booths? Um, I usually keep about a three millimeter link chain, um, on hand in the booth for if somebody just wants to order, like, a necklace, like a plain necklace, um, but, and I get that from Amazon as well. Happy early birthday, Lisa. <laughs> Jim, I hope you're okay. Pamelia says, I'm going to make myself a special book slash journal if I ever get one of your dragon eyes. Right on. <laughs> uh, kettles are kind of a personal item with different folks appreciate different specs, so I'd wait for a wish list item. Mm. Uh, honestly, we just used a kettle from Walmart until it literally broke in Randy's hand. Was it like the handle fell off? Or? No. Which part? The little bolt that holds the screw that on top of the... Okay. Yeah, so I can't get in there until it cools down to <laughs> fix right, it. Right, okay. So it was just the lid that... Right? Like just the lid part I broke? I can't get or? it open to look at it. I'm oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. Um... <laughs> Strangery says, attempted my first video fail. How many did you make before you loaded up on your first one? How do you get past the weirdness? Do you pretend to talk to Randy at first or a friend? Um. Yeah, because I'm not a friend. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good question. Um, I kind of just jumped right into it. Uh, I had the benefit of I had already tried to teach a lot of these techniques to Randy. Um, and I had had a couple years of experience under my belt of interacting with people in the booth. Ooh, geez, Jim, I hope you're all right. That sounds rough. Recently had the washing machine fixed. Got a great treat out of it. 30 pounds of 23 gauge wire. Right on. <laughs> but, um, it's, I don't know. And also, I, and I've mentioned this before, but the, for those of y'all who haven't, haven't heard, um, this is for your benefit. Uh, whenever I was a kid, my dad would have me, uh, like, I was homeschooled for a while, um, and my dad was pretty ill, but he still wanted to be involved, so it's, he would, uh, you know, instead of me being lonely at the kitchen table doing my, uh, assignments, he would have me, he called it sing it to him, but it was just me reading out loud my math step by step, like, whenever I would be doing, like, long division, I would be like, well, three goes into Sorry, my phone keeps crashing, but he would have me be like, three goes into 17, uh, you know, like four times, and I'd be like, well, three times four is 12, so no, it goes in four times, so wait, what? See, I'm not good at math. Three goes into five times, <laughs> but he would be able to hear, so sorry, Dad, the math didn't stick, but, ara, uh, bleh, and saying words anyway, none of it stuck, Dad, sorry, <laughs> I am a failure, um, but no, I. Uh, he would be able to catch my mistakes as I was reading it out loud um, and uh, be like, are you sure? And so, like, I would just kind of got a, got a lot of practice that way, you would think, until today, um, articulating my internal dialogue. So it's like, and then the next step is blah, 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 and then blah, 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 and then kind of like um, going along that way. So that really tied over into a lot of it. And then also, I'll be darned if anybody can get me to shut up. I mean, really. So <laughs> I talk just nonstop. So oh, thank you so much, Batu. Um, my email address is backtoearthcreations at yahoo.com. Just be patient with me if I don't get back to you. My spam filter is a little hyperactive. And, um, and it's just, I do my best to really do, but it doesn't come across as very well. Um... Hey, Julie, how's it going? <laughs> I homeschooled both my brats. I mean, lovely children. Right on. Well, it's, um, and I was only homeschooled for, like, about a year. I don't know. It was, like, summer vacation and then the full school year and then another summer vacation. So, um, uh, <laughs> you don't talk too much. Just enough to educate us. Oh, I don't know. I get some little, <laughs> I get pretty jibber-jabbery. <laughs> Um, more questions, bring them on. Okay, here we go. Uh, 
Hey Yvonne, hey Rachel, I'm signing up for my first vending event soon. I'm a little nervous. Were you nervous at your first event? Have any tips or tricks to help a new girl out? I was very nervous. And our first event was a local, like Christmas themed craft show. Uh, and the thing is, is the people who are attending, they don't know that it's your first time. So you can like put on a brave face and just fake it till you make it. I've always erred on the side of um, be friendly. Uh, you know, and so like somebody will walk up to the booth and I'll be like, and I learned a lot from Randy because again, I had like unfocused jibber jabbering. Um, and, but Randy was very good about like being focused, but also friendly, uh, and very accommodating to the customer. But like somebody walks up to the booth and we're like, Hey, how's it going? Everything here is handmade. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, oh, yeah, I've that a few times. Uh, yeah, we've said that like, I don't know how many thousand times. Over the past like ten oh, years, I'm sure it's thousand nice. times a weekend, um, but um, and then like if they start looking at our finger rings, I'll talk about how well these are adjustable. This is how I made them. This is what the wire is. Like I talk about the pieces um, because they don't know otherwise, and that kind of would develop the the conversation. And the more you do it, the more you'll find what works for you, how you connect with people, and different things. So. <laughs> Pretty good. It's just about time for me to take it out. <laughs> Jim. HNS Designs says, Hi Yvonne, you've inspired me to begin using resin to make my own pieces. I am now obsessed. I absolutely love them and so many options. Thank you so much for your inspiration. Right on. I'm actually going to be doing a lot more resin videos upcoming too because it's I've had some ideas. <laughs> I recorded my first video of the weekend, but I didn't know um, what software to use to edit it. Any suggestions for an idiot-proof program? If you're able to make the investment, I highly recommend uh, Filmora by Wondershare. It is like, it's beginner friendly, but it is like, uh, I don't really see myself ever needing anything more advanced than Filmora. Goes into the know you product thing. Also helps to make it clear how much unique stuff is and how much your time is worth. Exactly. <laughs> I'm excited. My son shared photos of my work to a local store and she wants to see my inventory once I get more built up. Yet I'm so nervous. Just do it. Just take that nervous energy. Make some jewelry. <laughs> like, nervous. yay, it's Randy Hood and Little Pond running through the forest. Good a lot of youth, a lot of golly, what a day. Good a lot of golly, what a day. <laughs> my tea's ready. Oh, I'm always surprised to see trolls show up. Also amused and kind of sad, too. The hell decides to be such a jerk just because they have free time. Who has free time? Like, I'm like, what the crap is that? Like, is somebody paying you to be a troll? Like, I could see it then. Be like, sorry, this is my day job. Um, you're using a tea bag. Are you out of tea? I still have a little bit of tea left, but this was actually sent to me. It is probably one of my favorite blends. Not just for sentimental reasons. It's also delicious. <laughs> Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, what what is free time? I, I don't understand that concept. Free time is time that should have been spent. What's happening here? Yeah, <laughs> I found a red slash gold nail polish and can't wait to use it on my dragon eyes, right? Like, I don't know. And for a while there, Randy was actually way more excited about Dragon Eyes, like, uh, nail polish colors, at least, than I was. Because I was like, well, let's just use what we have. And he's like, but look at this blue. And I'm like, yeah, that is pretty. <laughs> Oak says, Robin Hood is one of my boyfriend's favorite Disney movies. He cracks up when I watch you because I start singing it along with you. <laughs> right on. So what is your next tutorial? Um... I'm going to make a confession. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, I'm trying to get this piece put together, but it is going to be um, at least the rest of the day, and then I still have to edit it. But I'm really excited about it, though. Really excited. I love, like, how lush and dimensional that's coming out. Yeah, Robin Hood Men in Tights. But, um, but yeah, showing how to make, I mean, really big pieces. So 
Suggestions on marketing strategies. I currently am making about 500 a summer at farmer's markets. Um, that's actually, that's pretty good so long as your, uh, investment is pretty low, but I don't know if any of us could retire on that, you know? Um, and so possibly consider branching out into other markets, maybe put more into your online presence. Ah, uh, thanks guys. <laughs> um, it's, I don't know, marketing is something... <sighs> Marketing is something I could probably always use more help with. Like, it's always being fine-tuned. Um, because there's new venues for stuff, and it's like, you want to stay personable, but you also want to stay professional. But it's like, like, I had the hardest time trying to figure out how to set personal boundaries. Because it's like, y'all are my friends. Y'all are the community that, uh, you know, keeps everything going. But this is also my professional life. And so it's like, how do I deal with whenever someone is not being friendly or, you know, maybe, uh, it's just, I don't know. You know, there's, there's so many different things you have to deal with all the time with even just with like marketing on your own personal Facebook page. Hey, Danielle. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jim, that's great. A bigger variety in your wares, maybe trying out new techniques. Maybe people, some folks just aren't that into wire wrapping. Maybe they're more into chain mail or more into macrame. Um, or maybe your clients who really like your wire wrapping already have a lot of it, <laughs> you know, or, um, you know, so offering new products, new lines, new styles, um, can all really do a, a lot to help you, uh, keep things fresh and keep the money coming in. Can you do a video on how to wire wrap a crystal with a tr tree of life? Ooh, I'd like to do that. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Uh, Vego says, love the train in the background. I'm glad somebody does. That train stresses me out sometimes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't see how anyone could not be friendly to you. You are awesome. That's really sweet, but honestly, I'm a grumpy troll. I really am. Uh, whenever it all boils down. Nikki says, do you do micro macrame too? Not as much. It was something that I found, at least for sales out of the booth. Like, I think it's beautiful, and I really enjoy macrame. But I wasn't able to find a balance between how much time investment it took to make it and being able to sell it um, at a reasonable, at a fair price, both for me and for the client. Um, like, does that make sense? Because it's something that it's like, if it took me a week to make something and I have to sell it for like two to three hundred dollars. I, and it's sitting there taking up a spot in the booth, which is completely different in an online setting now, but at least for it, having a booth where dealing with people face to face, um, that's taking up the spot of something that I might have been able to put a $20 piece there that would have sold and sold and sold, like kind of put out that price point. Oh, I just spilled tea. Um, oh, that is good stuff. Um, and so, whereas, yes, if I sold one of the expensive necklace, I've made 200 but the, it's less reliable because most people don't have that much to spend um, at a farmer's market or at a craft show. Um, whereas 20 bucks, that's a lot more manageable. And so I might have been able to make $400 worth of sales off of multiple smaller items that I could get done, you know, in like half an hour or maybe two hours or however much, you know, time you put into it. Um, so that's where I found my niche. Some people only carry very extravagant and beautiful and expensive things. Um, that's not me though. <laughs> I just put a photo of the back of a book I decorated a few years ago on your Facebook page. It's a dragon eye on leather. I hope you like it. I'll check that out, Draco. Tell everyone what you do. Get a payment method people can easily use like Google Pay or Apple Pay since they now have personal payments. Yep. And the Square card swiper is perfect. Like, absolutely love it. <laughs> Alexa says, hi Vaughn, I'm a knitter and I like to sell my things. How do I know what to price my things at? I feel like I'm always either going too low or too high. That's really difficult. Um, For me, regardless of what medium I'm using, because I've sold some of my crocheted pieces, is I take the complete cost of materials um, and I multiply that by three. And that's before I factor in any time or anything. Um, that's, you know, uh, so it's just that's something that you kind of have to uh, find the balance for yourself. Um, it never hurts to uh, 
like search on Etsy uh, what similarly styled like not and this is gonna sound horrible but they're like hats and scarves and sweaters like there's kind of only so many things that um a person can like knit <laughs> that's commonly recognizable if that makes sense I don't know I don't I hate to put limiting things on that but like a hat can only get so complicated and still be just a beanie, if that makes sense. So you can kind of compare your work to somebody else's where it can be like, okay, this is a comparable amount of work, comparable amount of materials. And these are what other people seem to be selling their work for and kind of gauge it that way. Mm hmm Aw, y'all are sweet. Just ignore the troll. Uh, hey, Vaughn, how's the garden coming? Oh my god, it's so pretty outside. It's, sorry, calm down, Vaughn. Um, Laris is challenge accepted. <laughs> yes. I uh, a, a hat can only get so complicated and still just be a beanie. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Jenny says, yeah, that sucks. I try to keep mine where I'm still actually making money, right? Um, but no, my tulips are coming up. The chickens are little dinosaurs. I love them. I love them so much, but I want to shake them. <laughs> Um, I made a helm chain bracelet after watching one of your videos and everyone wants it now. Right on, Ton. That's awesome. Rachel says, hey, Vaughn. Hey, Rachel. How did you decide to name your business? I'm trying to rename my work, but LOL. It's not that easy as it seems, right? Um, I don't even really know exactly how the Back to Earth creations, like, I don't know. They just kind of fit in with my sense of self and my style, but really to... what we looked at was... We didn't want to limit. Yeah. Um, because at the time, I wanted to be a massage therapist and make, like, my own uh, candle, like, aromatherapy candles and, like, body rubs and, like, oils and all kinds of stuff. And, but I was like, but what if I want to make soap, too? But what if I also want to make, you know, boo to do to do Like, and so I was like, creations. That's a nice broad umbrella term that I can basically do whatever I want and not have to change my company name so even though mine are much nicer guess who sells the most if we're at a booth together that's fair margaret says i do 10 times materials and if you can margaret that's fantastic so <laughs> you find a tutorial idea can you do different kinds of animal eyes set in clay and or leather like a cat or wolf eye so that we can have some ideas for making different patterns such as fur that's a really good idea i'll try that oak how did you do on the weekend? Hey, Kate, um, we actually, it went pretty okay. Like, um, we didn't sell as many shirts as they would have liked because we were actually working for our friends, uh, because they were triple booked for the weekend. So our friend Tracy with World of Strange was at one Cincinnati. convention in Cincinnati. Her husband, Ben, was in one of the Carolinas. I don't recall which. South. South Carolina, and then we were in Dayton, Ohio. So the inventory was spread very thin. Um, it was not a particularly busy show, and there was a lot of snow on Saturday in some areas uh, that people would have been driving in from, as well as multiple other conventions that same weekend. So it went okay. I had a fantastic time, but uh, glad you're back safe, right? High five, Wicked. You and Randy and the fur babies and as are adorable. It's so much fun to watch you in the videos. Thank you, Andy. Business name should encompass a bunch of different possibilities, right? And it's, I think a business name should encompass for you what you want it to encompass. I mean, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it does get hard after a while to rebrand yourself um, because there is logo and company recognition. Um, you know, it's a... Uh, I don't know. And that's something that Randy and I are kind of facing now is we're not rebranding so much as, um, I need to go let the dogs in. I'll be right back. I don't know. I heard honking. No, the mainland wasn't there yet. Um, it's really hard to come up with a name. I want to brand my stuff with something that plays with my name. Right on. Oops. There we go. 
Oh, the cord was loose. Don't forget to write the ideas down, right? I don't have anything on hand that I could write on. I'm planning to try to get some dragon eyes I painted in polymer clay. Do you notice the problem with the nail polish melting? I personally haven't, but there's been a lot of folks who say that they have had problems. Um, I, the main thing that I've found for myself that I need to be really careful with is I paint the eye, let it cure for a couple of days. Um, don't I don't do the Mod Podge backing on it if I'm setting it in polymer clay. But then I set it, sculpt it, and bake it. I try to not let that sit in the sculpted clay um, because the unbaked clay will react with the poly or with the uh, nail polish even if it is dry. <laughs> yeah, just keep brainstorming, talk to your friends. Sometimes our perspective of ourselves is different from how the world around us perceives us. So sometimes opening yourself up to that external perception of the people who love you and who are around you can really help you be like, oh, well, I hadn't thought of that, you know? So <laughs> it's why I choose the Enchanted Oak. It doesn't limit what I create and it works with nature pagan theme. Right on. <laughs> I wish this would let me touch the screen. There we go. Thanks so much. I have nothing against your dragon eyes. They're beautiful and cool. I'm just a wolf girl. So I'd like to know how to incorporate that as all. No, it's an excellent idea. My folks named their business after my brother Bob and me. Bob Joe Limited. <laughs> My name is Willow the Wisp. My main focus is Wire Trees of Life. Right on. And seeing that some folks, everybody's so different with their creativity. So it's like some folks are very happy being focused on specific items and specific styles. And that's, that's awesome. <laughs> I, sometimes I wish I could do that. <laughs> hey Vaughn, could you please do a tutorial on how to wire wrap a square or rectangular cab? Sure, Jamie. How many fur babies do you have? Um, Too many. The, <laughs> Randy says too many. This time next week, I will have seven chickens, f five rabbits, maybe, uh, two dogs and a cat. So probably still too many. <laughs> too many. A fiance and a come up with the business name, ours to yours on eBay. Right on. <laughs> Hmm. This one sparks. I'm thinking of turning into some dragon eyes into frig magnets. Ever done that? I've made a couple and I've seen some really beautiful pieces be made. Um, so that's an excellent idea, Jody. Cool. I've been trying to figure out what to put on my art so people will know it's made by me. Right on. And it's honestly with YouTube, I just went with my name. <laughs> like I was like, that works. Somebody else already did the hard work on that one. Thanks, mom and dad. <laughs> Bye, Valerie. Thanks for stopping in. Choose studio so I can include anything artsy, including my photography. But that means changing my photography name to rebrand and combine. Ugh, that can be difficult. <laughs> I thought you had two cats. We actually have three currently, Nikki. Um, but Haru and Chi Chi are azimuths, and he's moving back home this weekend. Sarah says, you can never have too many fur babies, except for I'm kind of allergic. And... Yeah, uh, Asmuth, I'm sorry. I don't think you're in here watching this. Oh, is he not announced? I don't know if he's announced it yet. Yeah, Asmuth is moving out. Um, he had moved in with us over the winter because his trailer, like the insulation on the bottom, he hadn't had a trance to put back in yet. You all can check it out on his channel. He talks about it a lot. But, um, it is spring again and it's time for him to go home and get back to work doing what he's doing. Well, the park positions have opened up. And the park up. position opened back up for him, and it's just, there's, he has this whole life off in, uh, where he lives, in his neck of the woods, and so I didn't want to... Yeah, the only thing that's coming to mind is not when to talk online. <laughs> hey, Amanda! <laughs> mm-hmm. Is it possible to put links to YouTube videos on Patreon posts? Um, yes. I think so. Do you mean for me to put them or for y'all to put them? Because it should be okay. I don't know. I think everything I do... Thank you so much, Lindy! Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay, he did announce it in his video last week. <laughs> 
I have a sketch of a bracelet designed for you. Where would the best place be to send it? Um, my Back to Earth Creations business page is probably the best place to communicate with me. It's structured so much better than um, any of the other uh, forums that I have for talking or on Patreon if you're on there. I've been asked to make a peacock sun catcher for my best friend. Any ideas or a tutorial would be amazing. Sandy, check this out. I'm making this for Jim because he's awesome and he sent me like the stones and stuff. So, <laughs> but, um, and this is going to be a tutorial upcoming probably this week sometime. Hopefully I can get my act together. Um, uh, I've started doing chain mail. I'm trying to follow your tutorials, but they all have rainbow. I only have blue. Yeah. <laughs> I understand the struggle. Um, Amanda, the weave is still the same. Um, I mostly demonstrate with rainbow. That way it makes it a little bit clearer sometimes where the ring's going. Is that the green tazo or one of the other ones? This is berry blossom white. It is delicious. Because I normally don't really like like fruity teas, but this one's really good. <laughs> I had to le lessen my pledge on Patreon to you guys. I'm still a patron, but new house, new bills when I'm rich. Samantha, you've been so generous. Like, oh, please dude. don't you yeah. dare apologize, like, at all. Like, and that's something that, um, the only time I take it personally, if someone unpledges, um, is if there was a miscommunication and they didn't, like, if you didn't get your package, if you don't like, feel like you're getting your money's worth, send me a message. Let me know so I can do better so that we can track it down so that we can see what's going on. But I've had a couple of folks stop, like stop their pledge altogether, but then leave a really nasty review about how some and such or what. And I'm like, I didn't even know that that was happening. How am I supposed to help you if you don't let me know? Um, but then I've gotten way more proportionately people being like, I'm so sorry. I can't pledge you. And I'm like, don't apologize. This was don't you dare apologize, you know, um, so yeah. Hey, Jason, thank you. That tree could be a rainbow of crystals, look like peacock tail, maybe a few pearls around the edges, right? <laughs> you do so much, Samantha, thank you, though. Maybe you can post a supply list of your live stream in a, of upcoming tutorials. Oh, that's a good idea, Cheryl. Gotta go back to work. Love you guys. Bye, Matt. That's actually, I've got to go too as well if I'm going to have any videos for you guys this week. Thank you guys so much for your generosity and for hanging out with me and for keeping everything. <laughs> what are you saying, Carol? You look pretty good in your videos that you're dead with your outfit, like the one where you're out by the water. Ooh, thanks, Carol. I was like, I'm dead? Um, That we did the photo shoot. Oh. <laughs> But, um, but no, thanks guys so much, uh, for hanging out with me today. It's y'all brighten my day every day that I get to talk to you guys. So, um, until next video, I will see y'all around. So happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>